Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. I've got a cute card using the cutest cows bundle that's coming out in the January through April 2024 mini catalog. It's the cutest cows that comes with the cutest cows builder punch oh my gosh it's so adorable so I've been playing around with this cute little guy and I decided I wanted to use a barn door with this so I'm going to show you how I did that and show you um, some cute little tricks with the punch okay so let's take a look at that cute stamp set getting the glare out of there a sitting down cow some different cow faces some of them work in the punch and some don't this won't punch this punches this punches this punches and these two you can fussy cut and a cute little rooster and some sunflowers as you can see on this one I just decided to do some sunflowers on the inside and the neat thing about doing these sunflowers is because they were tiny little images I didn't even have to use my blends I just grabbed my stamp and write markers and I just colored in my leaves with that and that was fun so let me show you how we're going to do that let me get my little pieces here. We're also gonna be pulling in a few items from the Sending Love Dies. That's the one with the adorable one with the mailbox. And we are going to um, be using this grass here and the little flag that goes up on to make our handle. So let's take a look at, I'm gonna turn this over, some grass here. Huh. Okay, so I started out with a basic black card base. Because I was using the basic black for my stamping, I always like to pull in that black. Plus, it's just the perfect neutral for any card, it just seems. So we're using that, and that is an eight and a half by um, five and a half, and we're scoring it at four and a quarter. So it's a half sheet of our cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and it's going to be a landscape card. Then we're going to be using a piece of balmy blue and that is five and a quarter by four all these measurements are underneath the youtube video it says um video the description area and it has these measurements also it says visit my blog here press that link it takes you over to cindy lee b designs dot com and you can see um everything that i used in additional photos so okie doke this is the inside of the card okay so what i'm going to do is show you how i fussed around for a day till I came up with what I liked. So I used a two and a half by four inch high piece of real red and I ran it through our timber, timber embossing folder. And then I am going to pull out my, shoot, a bunch of stuff on this desk right now. A lot of stuff going on, getting the, um, getting my oven heated up to put a roast in. And so we're gonna do this and we're just gonna make that classic barn door look here. Now I just cut a bunch of a quarter inch strips, okay? And then I'm going to start with putting the X first, okay? So remember that white was two and a half by four. And then this is a quarter inch wide. And I'm just going to pop that across to make an X. You don't have to be perfect on this, but if you turn over, I'm gonna do this here. If you turn it over, you'll kind of see, you can play around a little bit and just get it kind of where that, um, it's right on the corner there. And then we're just going to rough cut off this piece here because we're going to use this to create another X across there. Pop that over there, put some glue on this, little strip of quarter inch white. We're gonna do the same thing. Make an X there, kind of, whoop. My fingers get a little bit gluey. <laughs> it was funny, we um, went over and walked around downtown Disney last night and my oldest son, the 35 year old, he had got an ice cream cone. I said, give me a, give me a bite of, or lick of that. And he goes, no, not from that side. That side's licky licky. <laughs> I was like, what? He goes, well, I mean, I licked on that side. I'm like, okay. So I actually was laughing about that. He says, no, that's licky licky. And I'm like, oh, so that's how 35 year old children tell their mom. <laughs> so here we go. My hands are sticky sticky. So we have our X here and I can see that I have a little bit of, um, glue here 
and it's just dry. I can just get that off. Now we wanna do these sides too. And I notice um, my hands are very sticky, sticky. So let's get that glue off there. So now when I do my next step here, I put the glue directly on the barn door. Okay, and I'm just doing these two sides right now. You can do either side, it really doesn't matter. I kinda like doing the X first. Um, but now we're just going to go and just go a little bit. Oh, I notice, let me use this side here. Just go a little. The thing that you wanna be careful about is make sure you're not seeing any red and make sure you're not seeing white there because when you put this down on the blue, you don't wanna see that red popping through. So it looks like it's okay there. Snip this, just like I did that other one. And then just give myself a little leeway on that edge. And again, I'll just look over here and I'll see, I'd rather see a little bit of white than see any red on this side, okay? Give a little snip there. And then, well, actually, you know, if you go in between each step and do your snipping, then you're not gonna have to snip off three layers. So I'm just gonna make this corner here, snip it off, snip off this corner, snip off this corner. Make sure you see it moved a little bit on me because it was because you have a little bit of that wiggle room. Okay. Now I'm gonna get excuse the um, pounding and the sawing. Um, for a few years now I've been asking Jim if we could enclose our little side porch. And so for Christmas, he decided a couple days before Christmas to surprise me with that, that we're going to um, enclose it. And the windows were ordered and they came to put them in. And we found out that it was all dry rotted where they were gonna put it in. So our trusty, wonderful guy, um, Leo, is out there with his crew and they're fixing the the dry rotted beams so that they can install the windows. And so what was a very big ask for me to say to my husband, please, can we, can we enclose the porch has turned into, you know, one of those things like you decided to change the curtains and then you decided, oh, now we have to change the um, bedspread and then now we need to paint the walls. <laughs> so they're out there pounding away. They're just wonderful, wonderful guys. They're from Venezuela. So I go out there and practice a little bit of my Spanish and they just kind of look at me and laugh. But I think I did tell them today, don't get hurt. We need you. We love you very much. <laughs> and so um, they just smile. Ah, I am just always amazed at how um, they can speak such, you know, their native language and then end up learning English it's such, uh, it's amazing how well they do that. And then um, I have enough years of Spanish in school and college to go through, but I sit there and mess every word up, which are their language. Okay, maybe that could be one of my New Year's resolutions to get a little bit better at my Spanish. So there we go, we have that little barn door. Isn't it cute? And we're going to install our barn, barn door right here. But I am gonna show you a little trick I did because I wanted to have that little handle there. The first thing I did was I got our mini envelope, the uh, mini envelope dies, and they had this little thing that kind of looked like that. And that's what I put on this one. But whenever I was slipping the grass under there with these envelope, do, 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 the sending dies, I noticed that flag actually looks like that could be a handle. And it actually looks a little more um, to the dimension that I wanted it. So we are going to put that on there. We're just going to take the, um, I love the sending. I think the sending, first I thought it was only Valentine's and then I was like, no, that can be used for anything. So you're just gonna put that on there like that like that, and actually, I'm thinking if you made two barn doors and you somehow messed around with this flag, it literally could be a handle on a barn door. So there we go, there's our handle. And before we put it on to here, we want to use that grass that's also found in the Sending Love dies. So I use this grass, but I noticed something. On this card, 
I did the grass. And then I noticed this piece fell off of the dies. Okay, that's kind of like your extra. I thought, what if I layered it this way? Doesn't that look like grass, like two layers of grass? So we are going to do that. So I'm gonna pop on, I'm just on the bottom of the, what is called the good piece of the die. And I wonder why I have sticky surface. I'm always moving this away. I'm going to go ahead and just put that right there, okay? And I'm gonna pop my little cow feet into, so maybe I shouldn't have done that right away, but it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's take a look at our little cow, okay? I stamped that cow and I'm gonna come back with the cow punch, the cutest cows builder punch. And this just stamps, it's stamped wonderfully and it fits in that punch so nicely. So there we go. And I'm gonna pop it, there we go. I'm using Thick Whisper White uh, on this card. And actually it looks like I already did his little head. And just like when you're doing any type of punching, just look at your punch. So this one I do like because you could have put the head right down there or I could do the head this way, whichever. Just look at your punch. It has these other pieces in here for spots on your cow and this is for his little snout. So it's a really cool little punch. And what I did with that cow is I colored him. Actually, where did I stamp his little head somewhere? No. No, that's his little head. Okay, I used pecan pie, and I used the light pecan pie. I'm going to use the blunt end because these are little areas here, and I just did his spots. Uh, I was going to do this in black to show you that we could do black. Oh, well. I liked a little more card, a little more color on that card, so I just went ahead and used the pecan pie and did his little hooves and his little tail. Actually, I didn't, I didn't uh, punch, I punched his tail a little haphazardly. So I'm gonna do that again. I have his tail a little bit. Okay, let's get that body, body, body. Okay, there we go. There, I like his little tail a little better. Ha, huh, that gives me the opportunity. If I wanted to color this black, I could, but I'm going to just Go ahead and do it brown again. I like the addition of that brown in there. So again, I'm doing his little hooves using that blunt end. It's nice to use that blunt end as much as you can because it doesn't, I don't want to say dull, but it doesn't get your brush tip all mangled as fast because that is, I do find that we use them a lot at class and sometimes, um, a, if you don't have a gentle touch, you kind of wear it down a bit. And then we're gonna do his little tail. So you've got pecan pie, and I decided on his face, we would do his little tuft of hair here, his little Elvis tuft there, or his Fonzie tuft. Okay, we're gonna leave his face white. Okay. And then I use some dark petal pink. Petal pink is my favorite for doing human faces. And this gives some little color here to his little, and then I put a little bit right in his ears, just a little bit there. Okay, so there's our sweet little cow. So now let's work on putting that grass in. And I am hoping that I can pop that little cow in there, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom of my balmy blue, okay? And then I'm going to put that grass, line it up against the balmy blue. There we go. And there we go. And then I'm just gonna trim off this edge right here. Ha, see I was practicing back here with my masks one time. Okay, so I wanna pull this up. So I want everything to be flush with the blue and then the barn door is actually gonna go 
over that. So it looks like I've got it flush. Okay, so now we can pop our little cow on here. I'm gonna put some glue on the back of him. And I'm going to slip this little cow's feet a little bit in and a little bit out of the grass. So you can kind of see he's in and out of the grass. So you have like two layers of grass there. I thought that looked really cool. Um, and then we're gonna pop on the barn door. You almost wonder if you could pop up that whole barn door. Looks like I have a little bit of white here popping up. Okay. You know how like your scissors slip on that area? So I'm wondering, do you think popping the barn door, uh oh, I put my little cow over too far. That's why I only put a little bit of glue. Okay, so let's pop him over here. I wanna see a little bit of his hooves. Let's hope his head's gonna fit on there. Yes, okay.